2010 white MacBook DCN powerboard replacement. Start by removing the eight Phillips head screws that are holding down the logic board cover. After removing the eight screws, you can now lift up the logic board cover and move it out of the way. Disconnect the battery first. Begin by removing the four Phillips head screws that are securing the vent. Now the four Torque 8 screws that are securing the vent cover. Fan removal. Start off by disconnecting the Wi-Fi cable. Now unscrew the three Phillips head screws that are holding down the fan, but leave them in place. Lift up the fan and gently disconnect it from the logic board. Logic board removal. There are 12 connections to the logic board. Remove the LVDS cable first. Next, the microphone and the left speaker cables. The right speaker cable, the DVD drive, the right speaker and the sleep indicator. Next, the trackpad. Now, the keyboard connection. Make sure to lift up the keyboard lever and then pry out the cable. The logic board is being held in by six T6 screws. Go ahead and remove those six T6 screws. Push the cables out of the way, now you can pry the logic board up at an angle. Now flip it over. Disconnect the DC inboard connector. The logic board is now free. DC in power board removal. Begin by removing the two T6 screws holding the board in place. Now lift up the board. It is now free. DC in power board reinstallation. Place the board into its perspective location. Now secure it with two T6 screws. Logic board reinstallation. Place the logic board upside down and connect the DC in board. Now tuck the logic board in at a 45 degree angle. Moving the connections out of the way, just drop it into its socket. Pry out any of the cables that were blocked in during the process, such as the trackpad or a speaker and indicator cables. Double check and make sure that all cables are accessible. You should have 12 connections in total. Go ahead and reinstall the 6 T6 screws and secure the board back into the MacBook. Reconnect all the cables. The speaker cable the DVD drive, the LED indicator, and the speaker. 
the trackpad. Leave the keyboard connection for now. The right speaker cable and the microphone cable. The hard drive cable and the LVDS cable. Fan reinstallation. Place the fan back into its socket. Secure it with the three Phillips head screws. Reconnect the fan to the logic board. Reconnect the Wi-Fi cable. We have to remove the battery to reconnect the keyboard. Battery removal. Start off by removing the three Phillips head screws at the bottom of the battery. Now you can remove the three tri-wing screws at the top of the battery. The one on the far left is hidden behind a piece of tape. Pull up on the battery and remove it out of the way. Now that the battery has been removed, we have access and we can reconnect the keyboard. This is a difficult task and might take some practice. Make sure that the eyelash is lifted up before you attempt tucking in the keyboard. Once tucked in, press down on the eyelash. Battery reinstallation. Insert the battery at an angle and drop it into the socket. Reinstall the three Phillips head screws at the bottom of the battery. Now reinstall the three tri-wing screws at the top. Reconnect the battery. You can now place the logic board cover back on. Secure it with eight Phillips head screws. It is good to perform an SMC reset after this procedure.